بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد A man comes to Imam Al-Kadhim and he says to him, I'd like you to pray for me. So the Imam said, I will pray for you. You are among my followers and I will not neglect you. Remember Imam Al-Kadhim was the same one who said that when the secrets were revealed, there was a plan, an attempt to restore justice, to remove the tyrants from power. And the Imam was involved in that. But unfortunately the secrets were leaked and the plans were made public and so everything fell apart. Then the Imam himself says, فَخَيَّرَنِ اللَّهِ Allah gave me the choice. Should you suffer personally or your followers and your Shia? فَفَدَيْتُهُمْ وَاللَّهِ بِنَفْسِي And by God, I would choose none other than myself to, be, to, be, to suffer and not my followers and not my Shia. This is how the Ahlul Bayt look at their followers. So the Imam says to him, of course I will pray for you. But the man still had some doubt in his heart. So the Imam says to him, إِذَا أَرَدْتَ أَن تَعْلَمَ مَا لَكَ فِي قَلْبِي If you'd like to know how much I care about you, one good litmus test is to look into your own heart and see how much you care about your own Imam. If Imam Zaman hardly gets a few minutes of my time every week, or in some cases, the only time we remember him is when it's near the night of destiny and Laylatul Qadr. Then how can I expect the Imam to think of me and to pray for me?